Employer branding, a new facet of healthcare sector. Abstract. You attract people by the qualities you display. You keep them by the qualities you possess. Sheikh Hasina. The dynamic growth of the today's competitive world has made the organization more competitive. To survive in the cutthroat competition of the globalization, an organization has to attain its competitive advantage. It should be proactive to face the changes in the scenario. In this scenario, the drivers of the growth of the organization are its human resources. The organizational success does not only depend on the organizational policy, but also on the quality of work which can be achieved by the workforce. It is the human resource that is the drivers of the organization through their skill, aptitude and attitude by deciding, implanting and controlling the activities. This is the time to move for the organization where they have to stand first than its competitors. In this situation talent management has become an important tool for the organizational growth aligned with the individual growth. Hence, the employer paradigm has shifted in relation to the human capital, in terms of its attraction, development, utilization, and retention, which placed a heavy demand on today's HR professionals. The present research is an attempt to evaluate the employer branding in select hospitals and medical colleges. Particularly, it intends to confirm current employer branding practices and their impact on employee performance and job satisfaction in select hospitals and medical colleges of Kurnool District. However, in this study, four most significant areas like, attraction, development, utilization, and retention are chosen for analysis. Moreover, it portrays the diversity in the employee's potential and perceptions in the higher education sector. Keywords, employer branding, strategy, talent, job performance and job satisfaction. Introduction Employer branding has emerged as a result of the application of the marketing principles to human resource management. This concept was firstly introduced in 1996 in an article presented by Ambler and Barrow. Ambler and Barrow defined the concept of employer branding as the package of functional, economic, and psychological benefits provided by employment and identified with the employing company. Here Ambler and Barrow have applied the concept of brand to HRM by viewing the employer as the brand and employees as customers. Employer branding is relatively new approach towards recruiting and retaining the best possible human talent within an employment environment that is becoming increasingly competitive. Sullivan defined employer branding as a targeted, long-term strategy to manage the awareness and perceptions of employees, potential employees, and related stakeholders with regards to a particular firm. The result of successful employer branding gives the organization an increasing reputation and exposure, coherence among its employees and a high number of applicants as the organization will be described as a great place to work at. Minchington and Estes also define the employer brand as the image of your organization as a great place to work in the minds of current employees and key stakeholders in the external market. Dimensions of Employer Branding Employer branding can be divided into three dimensions called economic value, development value, and social value as recognized by Schlager et al., 2011. One economic value, Berthen, Ewing, and Ha, 2005, declared that economic value comprises items such as a good salary, a fair number of holidays and reasonable retirement benefits. Firms provide benefits mostly for attracting and retaining employees and an increasing payment, or higher salary in general, is directly related to job satisfaction. 2. Development Value, Schlager et al., 2011, stated that development value category refers to variables such as good training opportunities, an empowering environment, and a good mentoring culture. 3. Social Value, according to Alnia Seek and Alnia Seek, 2012, social value assesses the extent to which an individual is attracted to an employer that provides the opportunity to gain career enhancing experience good promotion opportunities, recognition and appreciation, acceptance and belonging, good feelings and job security. Conceptual Framework Job Satisfaction Job satisfaction is defined as the extent to which an employee feels self-motivated, content and satisfied with his slash her job. Job satisfaction happens when an employee feels he or she is having job stability, career growth and a comfortable work-life balance. Job satisfaction can be measured in cognitive, evaluative, affective, or emotional, and behavioral components. Researchers have also noted that job satisfaction measures vary in the extent to which they measure feelings about the job, affective job satisfaction, or cognitions about the job, cognitive job satisfaction. Locke, 1976, defines job satisfaction as a pleasurable or positive emotional state resulting from the appraisal of one's job or job experiences. Others have defined it as simply how content an individual is with his or her job, whether he or she likes the job or not. It is assessed at both the global level or at the facet level, 
whether or not the individual is satisfied with different aspects of the job. Spectre, 1997, lists 14 common facets, appreciation, communication, co-workers, fringe benefits, job conditions, nature of the work, organization, personal growth, policies and procedures, promotion opportunities, recognition, security, and supervision. Statement of the Problem Today, Indian healthcare sector is increasingly relying on brain, not brawn. Healthcare institutions that can outpace their competition in attracting, developing and retaining the best talent have distinct advantages, lower costs, higher productivity, better quality, more satisfied and loyal stakeholders, and higher financial performance. There are several key stages in talent management that leading organizations to be focused on. Especially, in healthcare sector upcoming institutions need to have a vision and a well-defined strategy on hiring the talent staff in academia and research meant for the future growth of the institution. The healthcare sector has become the outsourcing capital of the employment and innovation and also own set of HR challenges. Healthcare sector's biggest problem is that competent staff is becoming scarce. Despite the large population, the supply of qualified staff cannot keep up with the sharply increased demand. So, do we have the right talent within to attract and retain the best available talent? Hence, the present study has undertaken to measure employer branding practices in select hospitals and medical colleges in Kurnool district which helps to analyze the working conditions in the healthcare sector. Need and Significance of the Study Today healthcare sector environment is more volatile compared to other sectors. There is skill gap between the desired and present pool of personnel in many hospitals and medical colleges. Hence, institutions have to take the steps towards developing talent to meet the uncertainty in the demand of talents. Progressive and innovative practices have become the heart of every institute, to survive and gain competitive advantage by pool of talent according to the demand of the situation. Employee branding helps in retaining talent workforce whose skills are value-adding to the organization. Scope of the Study the scope of the study is confined to explore employee branding practices in select hospitals and medical colleges of Kurnool District Viz, St. Hiram Medical College and Viswabharati Medical College. Furthermore, among the various components like 1. Personal value 2. Economic value and 3. Social value Hence, it is highly interesting and valuable to make a study. Objectives of the study 1. To study employee branding practices in select hospitals and medical colleges of Kurnool District. 2. To examine various demographic factors of the sample respondents. 3. To analyze the impact of employee branding on employee job satisfaction. Hypotheses H1. There is a significant relationship between employee branding and job satisfaction of the employees. H0. There is no significant relationship between employee branding and job satisfaction of the employees. Research Design and Methodology The present research is an empirical in nature. The descriptive research method is adopt for describe the present scenario of employer branding practices in select private hospitals and medical colleges in Kurnool District. Sources of Data For the present study, the data is collected from both primary and secondary sources. The primary data is collected by administrative structured questionnaire and personal interviews. The secondary data was gathered from internet, books, research articles, survey reports, newsletters, various journals, and magazines. Sampling Technique The purpose of sampling method is applied to collect the data from the employees. Sampling Size 60 Statistical Tools and Techniques The collected data is analyzed and interpreted based on frequency and correlation coefficient analysis with the aid of SPSS 20 version. Limitations of the Study 1. This research study is limited to SRMC and VMC only. 2. The present study is confined to only staff of SRMC and VMC. 3. The results of the research cannot be generalized to other employees like, lab assistants and other supporting staff and accuracy of given information may owe to change from time and individual factors. Conclusion The present study basically addresses two aspects first, reliability of the source of information, which is used by the employer for branding. Second aspect is the factors that determine the employer branding. In total nine factors have come out to determine the employer branding. These nine factors are basic job benefits, overall status of company, competitiveness and challenge, self-development, future opportunities, emotional judgment, relationship with peers, internal management and ethics and values. Further, the research analyzes the dimensions of employer brand in terms of talent acquisition, development, deployment and retention. 
The major finding of the study proves that the select college's employer branding practices are adding huge impact on their employees' personal value, economic value, and social value which relates to employee personal performance and job satisfaction. In spite of the massive issues, these colleges are able to maintain qualified staff from longer time.